on 53. So things weren't showing like they were before. Over the last two years, I'd say it started going downhill. Like I was doing all this work and doing all this work and doing all this work. And I was eating what I thought was what I thought was right to keep myself under control, <laughs> but it just wasn't working. Nothing was working anymore. And in the, in the last, before I started working with you, so the six months prior to that, um, things just really started getting frustrating because I just kept gaining and I kept gaining. And in the last year, I'd probably gained another 20 pounds. And I was like, why is this happening? I'm doing everything I think I'm supposed to do, but mm-hmm. it's not working anymore. And I thought, maybe I need more cardio. Maybe I need more of this. Maybe I need less of that. And it- this is Mastering Menopause. By using fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, and mindset, you can master your hormones and get your body back. I'm Kathy Cote with Catalyst Fitness and Nutrition. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Mastering Menopause. Today, I am joined by one of our clients, Angie, and um, she's going to give us a little breakdown of her experience, what it's like working with Catalyst Fitness, and what the a little bit of the process that we've gone through so far. If you follow me on social media, then you might have seen Angie's posts where she has lost 14 and a half inches and 14 pounds. This was in just under, it was right around nine weeks or so, nine or 10 weeks, I think. And hitting PRs, hitting a PR and a deadlift of 315 in the process as well. So we'll talk about what the process was looked like, but you know what, thank you very much for coming, Angie. So I appreciate that. And what attracted you to Callus Fitness? Like, how'd you find me in the first place? Actually, I was doing some research on the hormone stuff and how part of that was affecting menopausal women and their weight and so forth and all of their numbers, so to speak, as far as like their health issues and so forth. And then that was what attracted me first because I'd been doing a lot of research for that. And somehow your name popped up or your the No BS website popped up, the Facebook page. Okay. And uh, that's where I first started to find you. And then it just catapulted from there, I guess you could say, because... I started looking at it and everything that I was reading was spot on of everything else that I was looking at. And it was following along with all the research that I'd done up to that point, then looking at the different diet and looking at things a different way. And it was very appealing to me because just like I say, it's not one of those fad diets that just comes and goes. You, You do it for a little while and then you gain everything back afterwards. It actually is something that I can sustain and do as a lifestyle change rather than just being the next diet down coming down the pike. Mm-hmm. That was where I started following in on your Facebook page and it just escalated from there. Yeah. I and mean, I remember our conversation, right? And I knew like when I was talking to you, like I know to, I know what to do with her, right? I know, I know what it <laughs> yeah. is, right? And you're just like, what the hell? Like how is it? Why am I why can't I lose this weight? You were like, I, I think you were eating around 1500 calories or so working out, like really kicking ass with workouts and just yeah. and stuck. And I already knew, I already knew like what we needed to do for you. But tell me in your words, like where, like, wh- why did you seek out our health in the first place? I had been, like you said, working out for quite some time. It'd probably been over the, about four or five years that I had just I just started from scratch with that. My son is a trainer and he doesn't live near me. So it makes it hard for him to work with me. But I started on my own and with his knowledge and some things that he was teaching me and touching me, I just started from there trying to better myself, trying to get myself back in shape, trying to do a better lifestyle. And as time went on, it went really well. I started lifting heavy and then I started working with a a trainer at the gym uh, a couple of days a week and started lifting heavier and heavier and I was doing all this work and I was like, it, it, there for a while it was fine, but that was three or four years ago. Now I'm 53. So things weren't showing like they were before. Over the last two years, I'd say it started going downhill. Like I was doing all this work and doing all this work and doing all this work. And I was eating what I thought was, what I thought was right to keep myself under control, (laughs) but it just wasn't working. It wasn't working. Nothing was working anymore. And in the, in the last, before I started working with you, say the six months prior to that, um, things just really started getting frustrating because I was really just, I just kept gaining and I kept gaining. And in the last year, I'd probably gained 
another 20 pounds. And I was like, why is this happening? I'm doing everything I think I'm supposed to do, but mm -hmm. it's not working anymore. <laughs> I'm postmenopausal, so I'm over that hump. I'm doing all these things, and, and I thought maybe I need more cardio, maybe I need more this, maybe I need less of that. And it, yeah. trying to play the number game and all those things, and you know, I was tracking my food, and I didn't think I was that far off. And geez, <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, I was yeah. so frustrated. Um, and that's why I was at that point with you. I was, I was saying that that I was doing everything I could do that I knew to do, but something was still missing. And I couldn't figure it out. And I was, I'm one of those, I've got to fix it. <laughs> I have to figure yeah. it out. <laughs> and uh, after talking to you, I knew that was exactly what I needed to do. So I was just like, no, I'm biting the bullet. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm just <Yeah>. doing it. <laughs> I remember you saying, I, I work out. How come I want to see my muscles? Like well, they're there, but I just can't, I just can't see them. Like I need to uncover them. So yes. Yeah. Yes. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I know it's very frustrating. I, I'm, I know a ton of people that are listening to this are going to be like, that's me, right? I'm in that situation and this is who I work with, right? It's not the woman that says, I don't know, I'm sitting on my couch doing nothing and I don't know why I'm <laughs> eating weight. It's always like, I'm doing this, right? I'm doing these workouts. I'm watching what I eat and, and still it isn't working. And then you nailed it on the head, right? And you're like, maybe I need to do more cardio or maybe I need to eat less of this. And we get stuck in that kind of situation. Yeah. So I, I knew what we needed to do for you. And I also know like when it was like, when, when I said what the investment was, you were like, oh boy, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I understand that. But what, what kind of tipped that to where you're like, you know what, like you said, I'm going to bite the bullet, but what was that decision in your head? Uh, I was at a point where I was so frustrated with myself and where I was at and the fact that I couldn't figure out the problem. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. And in my own sanity, in my own health, I wanted to do better. And I knew that was the missing piece. I knew in my heart and in my head, that was what I needed to do to make this work. And I wanted to get back to that where I was before. And I wanted to show all of my hard work. Just like you said, my muscles were, they were covered in fat. Like you couldn't see them. I knew they were there and I was lifting heavy as heck just like you said I was deadlifting 300 pounds but I couldn't see my muscles and I was like this is not cool <laughs> this is not what I want so when I when we talked about it I was I was so sold on it that I, I just had to do it it's for me it was a no-brainer because I just really needed that for myself uh to get where I wanted to be yeah thank you and I'm so glad I'm so glad that you did so um, <laughs> What did we do? What did we do to Angie? So, um, so I would say, and if you do follow me on social media, I highly recommend that you check out Angie's pictures and her graph of what happened and seeing what does that look like when you lose 14 pounds and 14 inches, right? Just shrinking. But what was your reaction when, and so you were working with coach Lori, what was your reaction when Lori said, we're going to, we're going to bring you to maintenance calories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My idea of maintenance calories was a little different than her idea of maintenance calories, which is obviously where I was messing up because I had heard bits and pieces. I'd run, done some research and I came in with a lot of knowledge, but mm -hmm. I was, even at the 1500, I thought this eating more might be the right way to go. And I upped my calories to 1,800. 18, yeah. Ooh. I'm thinking 1,800 is good, right? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> she went to 2,300 and I was like, what? <laughs> but, but it was exactly spot on. It was, um, it kept me right on the same weight within a pound or two fluctuating. But I was like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> and I felt, at first I thought, there's no way I'm going to eat that much food. <laughs> But then I did, and I figured it out. It's like putting a puzzle together. You figure out how much of everything you need, and you just have to plan and, and make yourself aware of what you are eating and what you need and what kind of foods are what. And all of that was knowledge that I gained from you guys because I did not know in detail the things I should eat, for one thing, mm -hmm. and what was proteins, what was carbs? What, I was pretty good with proteins, but I didn't know like the carbs and the fats and how much of what to eat. And all of that made a huge, big difference. And when she put me on that maintenance calories, yeah, I, I literally just stayed level uh, within, like I said, a few pounds one way or the other the whole time. And it was crazy because it got my metabolism sparked again. And that's 
that was what I was missing to get myself where I needed to be. Yeah. And I will have to say, so Angie, you just uh, mentioned that um, your weight stayed the same for one to two, for, you fluctuated for um, one to two pounds for that first, I think you were in maintenance for eight weeks because you were just like, bang, right? You banged it out right away, right? Which is yeah. to your credit, right? a lot of people are like, that's a lot of food <laughs> at first, but they're like, hey, let's bring it on, let's do it. And so while your weight fluctuated like one or two pounds, I think you lost initially and then that came up, but your inches steadily went down. And I think women have a hard time dealing with the, Hey, I paid you because I wanted to lose weight. And yes, so that's what we're going to have you do, but we really have to increase your metabolism first. And so I think women think, Oh my God, if I eat that much, I'm going to get huge. And mm -hmm. I'm sure you had the same thought, but you're like, why <laughs> try? Trust in the process, which is what we always say. And so it did just stay. But when you bring calories up to maintenance, right, you shouldn't really gain or lose, but you will have a change in your body composition. And that's when your body releases the fat. And that's exactly what we saw when we saw your inches come down. So yes. that 14 pounds of weight loss actually came after the eight week yes. mark right? It just came, just came falling off. And so that's what I think the missing piece for a lot of women is the fact that, yeah, you might hear, oh, I, I need to eat more, but what is, what does that look like? And then just having that guidance to say, here, this is really what you need to eat and, and more of this, yeah. and more of this. It's not how, what can we take away from you? It's more, what can we add and to get to that change? Yeah. That's one of the amazing things about it is all this time I kept thinking, I just need to take away. I need to take away because I shouldn't eat this and I shouldn't eat that. And, mm -hmm. but instead I was actually hurting myself because my body was storing that food rather than using it for what it needed to be used for. And, and I was, like I said, I was researching some of that and I was getting that information, but I didn't know how to apply it. And that's where you guys came in. You helped me apply the, that bit of knowledge that I had and then expanded on that dramatically. And yeah, those inches, even while I was staying that same weight, I was just going down and my whole goal was I'm very muscular. So I knew the weight probably wasn't going to be just lose 50 pounds. I'm not probably not going to do that, but the inches and the lean side of what I'm with me is what I'm doing. I want to be leaner. I want to uncover those muscles and show those muscles. So I want to lean up and I know I'm going to lose weight and I want to lose some weight. But I know I'm probably going to, I'm not one of those that needs to leave, lose like 50 to 100 pounds. It's not like that, but I want to lean up and get my body where it needs to be. And man, those inches, that that's to me was like so exciting <laughs> it was to see my middle because my middle was my problem area. Mm -hmm. And to see my middle shrink five inches now <laughs> is just it's insane. It's, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> I know you guys got to check out her pictures. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's what we do is fat loss, right? It's not just weight loss. I want to make sure that you're maintaining the muscle that you have yeah. in increasing it and just taking off that layer of fat so that we can see what's underneath there. So yeah, girl, like you, you work out like a beast. And so it, it only goes to show that the the calories will go towards building that muscle even more right so now we're probably putting on more muscle as well as taking it down the taking off the fat too so it's, it's an interesting process that i think it's hard for women to wrap their head around how did you just decide like when you heard that it's like hey you got to eat 2300 calories what was your thought process on okay okay because a lot of women might be very resistant to that and so what was your thought process like like I, I had already tried upping my calories a little bit. <laughs> I was like, let's try this, see if this works, see if this helps. Um, and when she said maintenance calories, I'm, I'm thinking 18 and 2000, something like that. And, was, and she said that 2300, 2300, I was like, oh, my geez, <laughs> what am I going to do? But then I, w I guess I was in that mode where I wanted to do anything to fix myself. So I was willing to do anything to fix myself. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of your mindset of what you want to do. And if you're not totally sold on it, it's not going to work. And you have to be totally in. So I knew that going in. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm, I've signed up for this. I've made this commitment. 
I am going to do this. And whatever she says, obviously, she must know what she's doing. <laughs> so we're going to try it and see if it <laughs> fails. But I did. I, I was totally sold on it. Just committed to trying it. I was like, what can I lose? Jeez, I've tried everything else and yeah. nothing's working. So it can't be all bad. <laughs> it's yeah. going to work somewhere. But that was it. You just, I was just sold on it. I, I had to be committed 100%. So whenever she said 2300, I was like, okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> We're going to yeah, yeah. do this. And um, yeah, that's, and that's the way you have to be. It's only going to work if you're committed to it and, you, <laughs> and you're faithful to following the plan. That's the only way it's going to work. Were you surprised by some of the foods that you got to bring back in? Yeah. It's, it's fun, yeah. right? It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it, everybody has different tastes. What I like may not be the same thing you like. And so certain things that I was missing or whatever, when I was in a deficit or even things that before that I was like, no way I'm going to eat that because that's yeah. going to kill me. <laughs> Bring some of those back in. is pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And that's why I don't do meal plans because I can give you a sample meal plan of what it looks like, you right. know. But I highly encourage like our clients to just eat, eat what you want. That way, this is yeah. not going to be, that's the only way that you're going to shift your lifestyle is to make it your lifestyle, your choices, the foods that you yeah. like. I, I can sit here and tell you like a tuna bacon melt is the best thing ever, because I do think a tuna belt, tuna bacon melt is the best thing ever, but you know, <laughs> two grams of protein later, but yeah, somebody else, but like, yeah, I hate tuna. So it doesn't make sense make that so yeah so now Angie is going on her first diet break so going through yeah. but I don't think we brought your calories down super low either though so what were your uh, uh, calories we got down to 1710 we yeah. got losing we weight it to 18 yeah yeah we we went down to 18 and then at the last two weeks of my deficit we dropped down to 1710 just to get it to finish off a little bit get a little bit more out of it at the end and then I just went back up to maintenance like the beginning of this week. Yeah. Coincided nicely with uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I sat down at the table yesterday and I thought, oh, <laughs> I can eat <laughs> most of what I want. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, for sure. So yeah, my approach, my approach for holidays is they just don't count. Those calories aren't going to count. Right? <laughs> it's one day. Yeah. So honestly, right. Like it, it, it's yeah. one day. Yeah. It's, I think it's like now is actually the perfect time to, if you're thinking about coaching is to come in because now we have, you have this holiday and then you have <laughs> also yes. the Christmas, the Christmas, Christmas calories as well too. And so just having, enjoying maintenance and enjoying like the energy that you're going to get, the improvement to sleep and digestion and mood and everything like that. And I think that's so highly underrated is spending time in maintenance because we're always, like you said, like, I just, maybe I need to bring my calories down more. Maybe I need to do more cardio. We always get into that. Never consider it maintenance at all. So yeah. So I'm just really looking forward to you, you crush in the gym, but you also crush like your meal prep and you're like, without fail, this is what I'm doing. This is what it looks like this week. You've definitely have inspired you, uh, posts that you post in the group, right? It is really about like your mindset and the effort that you have to put in. It's not hard, but it does yeah. take effort. And then it just becomes yeah. just what you do. That's Yes. What I'm so excited about, you definitely have taken the bull by the horns for sure, taken all that and just applied it and made that your own. Just looking forward to seeing you get, reach your goals. I think you mentioned that you were like eight pounds away from your goal or we yeah. don't know, right? Or yeah. like that number that you had in mind. The number that I originally had in my head. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, whether we go lower than that or whatever, I don't know. I have to wait when I see that to see what it looks like. It looks like, um, yeah. Yeah. But that was what I was before. And when I was working out pretty heavy and then things were working before menopause hit and I looked pretty good at that point and I want to at least get to that point and it may be lower, it may be whatever, but that was my goal. Yes. Yeah. So I'm about eight pounds away from that. Yeah. That's so exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's part of it too. Even when I went from, even in the maintenance where the inches were coming off, it was exciting just to see something. But to me, those inches coming off was it. I didn't care that I lost five pounds necessarily. Yes, it's nice. But the inches were like, oh, gee, I was so excited to see those come off. 
And they just kept, just have consistently gone down just at a gradual rate. And that's the other thing is I want to be able to keep it off. I don't want to be able to be one of those that I lose 25 pounds. And then next thing I know, I'm back up 30. I don't want to be that way. And I think this is what I needed to get me to that because I know that this is a way I can keep this off. And with the knowledge that you guys have given me and, and what we've done, I really believe that can happen. So that's the ex big exciting part for me. Yeah, for sure. That's the most rewarding part like of what we do is just shifting that mindset that to get away from that being aggressive with a deficit and then gaining it all back. Like it's, it's frustrating. And I, I was there for sure. I did it for 20 years, conquering that piece once and for all. And then guess what? Then we don't have to think about it ever again. And then we have more room in our head for other yeah. stuff, right? for fun things. Is there anything um, that you would like to, to add? Uh, no, just like we were talking about the mindset is so important. Yeah, I said, like I said, if you're not committed to it, it's not going to work. You got to be committed to it. You got to be consistent. And it's something that's not going to happen overnight. You got to take that time and put in that effort. And planning is a huge part of it. If you don't plan ahead, and that was part of where I was struggling in the beginning and learning how to do that. I knew, but I didn't do it, put it that way. I, I was hit and miss on it, but I found so many recipes and stuff that was a huge state fit mom. Oh You're my gosh. Yes, state state fit mom. mom has been like huge for me. So yeah. <laughs> thank you for that one for sure. Um, but just having those things that I can go to there and I know exactly how much I'm eating for breakfast, how much I'm eating for lunch, whatever my snacks are going to be for the day. And I have to plan that out for the entire day because I work throughout the day. So I have to make sure to get all that in, especially when I'm in maintenance, you, you have to plan all these, the snacks and whatever else that you're going to take. And I literally, I've almost got it down to science, I can say, yeah. but, but like I have to meal prep for my breakfast and meal prep for my lunch. And then I figure out what we're having for supper. I get all that in there and then I add my snacks. I eat breakfast at home. So that's great. And then I take my lunch box and put my lunch and whatever snacks that I have to have for the day, all go in my lunchbox for the mm -hmm. day. All my water goes with me that I need to drink. That was a big struggle for me, my water go. And then everything I have, I'm like, okay, I have to eat this today. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is what I have to eat throughout the day today. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I look and whatever's left, I'm like, okay, this is what I still have to eat, <laughs> whatever. And I just plan it out that way. Of course, the deficit is the same way. I just don't have as much. So yeah, it's to, different. Usually, so. Yeah, but then my water go was my struggle in the beginning because I was not drinking enough, enough water at all, probably about a third of what I needed to drink. And getting that in was, whoo, yeah, that was the hardest part for me. But that has also made me feel so much better. I didn't realize how much water affected me. And now I, I get it in pretty close every day. But I have a plan, just like the other. I have to drink this much you know, yeah. by this time. But that's the thing is planning and then having that mindset and commitment to do it. That's the biggest things with this. And it works, guys. It works. I'm telling you, I have seen the results and I'm excited to see the rest of the results as it comes on. Yeah, for sure. It's you mentioned at first, like when, when you fail a plan, right. And it's, you get to the end of the day, especially when you're like, okay, how am I going to eat these 2,300 calories? Right. And you get to the end of the day and you're like, oh boy, you have all this left. Like, what can you do better? And it really is the, it definitely is that planning and just having it mapped out. So that's where yeah. you definitely excelled. It doesn't just happen. This wasn't a mistake, right? This didn't just uh, accident, accidentally, you just figured it all out. It was a process. It's a little bit of a process. And what is, Definitely. I'm always like, let's reverse engineer this problem. What's happening? Where, why are we not getting these calories? A lot of times breakfast, right? That's the big one. We're like, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. So, but yeah, I, I've been so proud of just watching your progress and then just seeing like the way that you post and here, this is my meal prep for the week. Like it is done. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not even a, it's not even a question. So that's how it is. That's how it's done, guys. That's the secret sauce right there is definitely the mindset, right? Put, put your mind to it. And then just how are you going to make it work? Because everybody's lifestyle is different. I think people that work from home, it's not any easier. <laughs> so, 
It still has to be planned, right? I think when p- actually people do work out of the home, that's almost easier because you have to be so regimented with the planning, right? It really yes. kind of forces your hands. Should also mention that Angie did go on a couple of vacations as well. And uh, I know yes. she, was, she was sick too. So nothing's ever going to be perfect, guys. It's just, if you can just make the commitment to to make a change for yourself and then figure out like, how are we going to do that? So that's what you've definitely excelled at. So thank you. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to when we talk again in another eight weeks or so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is going to be, yeah, after the holidays, we'll see what's going on there. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on and we'll talk. All right. All right.